Hey guys, this is Jules. I have, um, I got a quick little haul I wanted to share with you. Um, I have not ever heard of the Jack and Jill collection by Prima. Um, and I recently saw a video, uh, made by Rose, who is at Rose, I think it's Rose's 915. I'll have a link to the video down below and you can check out the video that I'm talking about. It's a cool mini, you guys. It's so beautiful so well done this girl is amazing has amazing talent i just appreciate you rose for sharing um all of your um your projects on youtube f with us and uh i really loved the mini album and i wanted to find the paper so i did a search and i went to um i found the papers single sheets um that are double-sided i found them on scrapbook.com and as of last night I went back to look and see if they still had them on sale, and they do. Um, they have a 6x6 six six pad, too, um, of that collection, and I'm actually going to order that, too, because I think I like that size a lot a lot better, and um, I may use this one, too, for a mini, but I'm not sure how I'm going to use it, but I want to use it because I was so inspired when I saw that the video and the mini album that she made. So um, they were out of the 6x6 six six pads, but um, I just got an email that they're back in stock, so... And then the sheets, I believe they were on sale for 89 cents a sheet, which is great because they're double-sided. This Jack and Jill collection, you guys, are, it's so cute. Um, I am going to put the macro on a couple of these because I just love, love this collection. It's so cute. Look at her. This is Miss Jill with her little bow. And then up the ladder is little Mr. Jack. Look at him. It's all scruffy. <laughs> It is a beautiful little collection of papers, and I really love the um, the quality. It's nice and thick. I love the colors. It's very neutral for boy or girl. Very, um, oh, what do you call it? Soft and very cutesy, very pretty for, I mean, a baby mini. It's just so adorable. I love it. So this one here is um, called Daydreamer. That's the name of this particular sheet and the back side is like a field of daisies it's just gorgeous love it and normally when um if i'm buying paper that is double-sided um because <laughs> i don't know I, I sometimes i feel torn between using one side versus the other i end up buying two of the same sheet because that way i'll have the opportunity to use both sides so that's what i like to do and this one here is called sunny meadow and it's a Adorable. And all the little red spots are there. Um, ladybugs. I mean, this paper is just so pretty, you guys. If, you know, somebody... I know somebody that just had a baby. Um, a little little baby girl. And she's uh, two months premature. Um, and I, every time I look at it, I think of her. And, um, oh, I don't know, it's, just, it's an awesome story. And the baby's doing really well for being just a couple pounds when she was born just a, a week a week or so ago so my friend Misty that I've known since she was a young teenager um, is married now and now has this baby that is a miracle baby really because we didn't think she would be able to have any um, so yeah it's just it's a, a miracle and I'm so happy for her so congratulations Misty I love you so much girl she's a sweetheart and then the other side is this nice green I just love it love 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 um so yeah this one's called sunny meadow this one here is called sugar skies and it's just adorable look at that i love that there's like grass stains on his knees that is just too cute look at that yes tell me that's not adorable love this paper it's so pretty this is perfect for a layout and the back side is striped. So it has so many neutrals and then it has touches of, of pink in different spots. So um, let's, I'm going to show you. Um, so those ones were pretty neutral. This one here has some pink, the letters in the background. And it's got these gorgeous little butterflies with the little swirlies, like the little fly flyaways. Um, I call them flyaways, I guess. The little trails that the butterfly leaves. And then the back side is this gorgeous polka dotted too. I love that. And then look at this. Um, this one's called Ode to Joy, by the way. And this one is called Daisy Dreams, and it, it is so cute. It has this trellis and 
daisies all over. So it already has a distressed edges and stuff. Very pretty. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think, I mean, I want to do a mini album, but, um, I, I, it takes me a while to do them. So I don't know. I'm, I don't know. We'll see what I do, but I will definitely show you guys when I do, cause I bought it to make something to play with it, but I have a couple projects that I got to finish first before I can play it on some free time. So, but I will show you definitely, I love this paper. So Daisy Dreams on that one. And then this one's really cool. This is, has a lot of borders on it. And again, I got two of these sheets, but it's got the daisies in the trellis here. And then the little field has a little trail of ladybugs and the puppy. I like this one too. Very nice and simple. The birds and the words, the butterflies in the tree. So cute. And then the back side is um, a nice distressed shadowed um, antiqued kind of a design in that beautiful green. So that's what I bought at scrapbook.com so that's just a very cute paper and then with it comes not with it but with it I bought in addition um, these are some ribbons oh excuse me and um, I like these because there is enough that you can spread out through a mini album very easily love it I love that it's got this little um, poem thing or yeah I guess a poem <laughs> and it's just one sheet this one comes with one sheet I think that one I want to say it was two ninety nine or something like that and these are laminated canvas die cuts so it's on like this chipboard and there's a layer of canvas on top and it's either painted on or stamped on I'm not sure how they did it oh well, printed I guess I'm sure um, so I I'm not sure I've never used these before but I am sure I'll find how to incorporate it and then I found these they had two sizes they had the large and then they had the small um, of the number nine essentials and this is the flowers that goes with this collection um, like here you can see one of the flowers that has um, the little daisy prints on it so it totally matches the paper and then like ladybugs right there it's just it's absolutely gorgeous I love this paper um, the size I think this tub actually was $2.99 and um, I'm trying to see what other little prints is on there these are just perfect size for a mini album okay like this one here has some of the flowers and stuff on it and a ladybug um, this one has some daisies on it and actually this one it looks like little birds at the bottom and then tree trunk going right across it. This is really cute. Um, I just want to show you some of the detail. Oh, this is cute. This has a little jack right in the middle of the flower. Do you see them? Right there. <laughs> How cute is that? So you can use little buttons, little pearls, little rhinestones right in the center there. So it has just this really great um, combination of colors and the actual print of the paper collection on the flower so that's just that's awesome I really like that and um, I love these little tubes oh my gosh it's got really really cute prints on it so I just want to share that with you and then um, you know what if you go to scrapbook.com there are um, if you, I think it's the home page I want to say um, like oh I thought I had it up oh I do have it up if you go to scrapbook.com and then you go to um, go yeah go to the home page um, you can see actually let me show you guys give me a second okay I was looking at some stuff here if you go to the home page they'll you'll see here it says coupons see where my cursor's at I don't know if you guys can see um, but if you go to coupons, click on that and there's always some deals here and it'll tell you like the expiration date, but like this one here is 10% off of Disney themed products. And there's like always something that's going on there. And then on this side, you'll see like, um, like clearance. This is a clearance section, the dollar store, Jill's deals. I think Jill's the founder of, 
of uh, scrapbook.com. And then it shows you a bunch of different stuff that they have, like featured products right here. And then you can go and look and see what ha what they have like on sale. Kind of a sneak peek to some stuff. Copic sketch marker, Spanish olive right now is on sale for six forty nine. I think that's almost regular price at, in, on some sites. But anyways, I just want to share that with you guys because um, there's a lot of things that you can do on here. Um, you can add your videos. You can go, like I have on my place here. This turned into more than a haul. I guess some education on scrapbook.com. But here I am. Um, and you can create your own little my page or my place and post pictures of your um, projects. You can... Uh, make a lot of friends. There's tons of people on here, you guys. There's a forum. See, I have some friends right here. Look at this, Miss K. Hi, K. That's K loves to scrap. She's on YouTube. Um, but here's uh, videos. You can find videos. There's the forums where you can go and um, the, there's information for beginning scrapbooking, topics on that, card making and stamping, interactive fun, a lot of different stuff. And then gallery, you can go to galleries and look at different layouts and cards and tags and albums and scrap rooms. There's a bunch of stuff there. I come here a lot to look at different layouts. Look at all these. There's like pages. Look at there's 863,767 pictures of layouts on here. Looking at this right here. That's the number. That's That's how many layouts there is to look at. And there's just tons of ideas, you guys. Tons. So this is a good source too, not just YouTube, but there's other places that you can go to look for inspiration. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. And um, if you guys are interested in the Jack and Jill paper, they do have them here. So scrapbook.com, pretty cool site. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Jill signing out. Bye.